The Olympic Games might seem like a world away from Fairbanks, Alaska, but Janae Deloche knows the roots of her success. We I started out in Alaska for you know four years of my high school, and um, like you said, we had maybe three or four meets a year, maybe six at the most, and um, it was kind of for fun. Owner of seven individual state titles at Tiny Isleson High School, Deloche forever etched her name in the sand by winning the girls' long jump every year of her high school career. Back when track and field was a single classification sport, she was the first Alaskan girl to soar 18 feet. That was in the 10th grade. Deloche's lasting state record is a mind-bending 19 feet 5 inches. She went off to Colorado State. Deloche has progressed into one of the finest long jumpers anywhere, collecting a world indoor silver medal and a bronze at the 2012 London Olympics. She won that by a centimeter. I had to wait for the last girl to go, and I was crossing my fingers, praying, sending up all the prayers I could in order to get that bronze. And as soon as I did, I just felt relief, and I felt blessed, and I couldn't be more happy. Deloche has since altered her technique, switching takeoff legs due to ankle injuries. She still managed to qualify for a second Olympic team, launching herself 22 feet 9 inches on her final attempt of U.S. trials. I'm pretty ecstatic, actually. I mean, my family's here to watch it. I'm able to represent the U.S. again. Um, I'm going to go, you know, start back at ground zero with training, get where I need to be, and hopefully I can get on the podium. And that's where Deloche feels she belongs, because to her, a life in the sand is anything but the pits.